This portion of the question is asking what would happen if there were free entry into the industry um, and every firm was like Bob's with the same costs, so we're perfectly competitive. And we assume that the price of a DVD is $25. So the first question is, what is Bob's profit? Well, we need to figure out what the optimal output is for Bob. So his optimal output is where marginal revenue equals marginal cost, or the last place where marginal revenue is greater than marginal cost. And because the marginal revenue is $25, we look down, we find the last place where 25 is greater than the marginal cost is right here at 8,000 DVDs. Because at 8,000, the marginal cost is $23. If we went to 9,000 DVDs, it would jump to 27, and that wouldn't be economically viable. So he's going to produce 8,000 DVDs. The total revenue then is 8,000 times $25 per DVD. Um, the total cost is 8,000 times $15.25 per DVD. And when we do that math, we find that the um, total profit is 78 thousand dollars for Bob. What will happen in the long run? Firms will see that there's a positive uh, positive profit in this industry and they will begin to enter into the industry which should cause the price to, to, uh, to fall and as price falls we'll see his profit shrink until we get to a normal profit of zero. And the place at which uh, economic profit would be zero uh, or at its minimum is at the minimum point of the average total cost curve. So we could look and see where the minimum of average total cost is. That's at $13.83. So in the long run, uh, Bob will produce 6,000 DVDs at a price of $13.83.